hello and welcome you are watching i know how welcome back guys uh, today in this video i'm gonna disassemble lenovo thinkpad x201 uh, it has intel core i5 processor and uh, some standard and gpu and rams and everything Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the instant updates. Before disassembling this laptop, make sure it's shut down, uh, powered off properly, um, and then flip over, remove the battery. Battery off, um, hard drive slot is over here. Um, there is no physical hard drive at the moment uh, because this laptop didn't come with one. Just take off the cover and there will be a hard drive. Just pull it out, that's it. There's one cover here. This is for RAM. RAM coming off. Take off the RAM. If you want to replace just the keyboard then there is only few screws that needs to be removed if you see this kind of sign that is for keyboard that's a keyboard sign so there is only one two three four so there's just four screws that is attached to the keyboard if you remove them that's off uh, if you see a keyboard sign with a droplet that is not a screw that is where you put oil to the keyboard so that's it guys um so that's it guys um let's uh, remove the number of screws as shown in the picture um before that there is two screws one over here and one over here so i'm gonna remove those first Alright, so this screw is the little one, so I'm going to remove this and keep it aside and make sure this screw goes in the same hole. This is a little bit smaller than the others. Alright, let's remove all the other screws. I'm going to start from the right. This screw is a little bit longer, just over here. So try to replace the longest screw on this one. All right, all the screws are removed. Um, let's flip it over. okay so this keyboard has been um, unscrewed now so press it and slide it up you will see this is released now um, once it's removed just bring it to the down but don't lift it up and there is a connection just pull it up keyboard removed you see this palm rest this can be removed first um, just slide a plastic sponsor across the side and down there and then on this side um, this is the touchpad connector remove that first and then take it off okay now um, we'll see the connections um, what needs to be disconnected let's start from the right side uh, there's a speaker connection just pull it off um, leave the speaker there another one is this one uh, that's the connection for this board it has SD card 
uh, USB port, modem, and mic and uh, headphone jack. So disconnect this. Um, dis disconnect all the cable um, antenna cables. This is the Wi-Fi card, and this one is a mobile mobile card. Um, so these are the antennas. Just disconnect it, and these are the antennas for the mobile card. Just remove it. Unscrew the screws over here. Take it off, and this is mobile card. Well, there is only one screw here, which is holding this board. So remove that. And then remove the board. That's off. So remove this uh, cable from before that. If you see this plastic bit over here, you can remove those using a plastic sponger. Disconnect this. Plastic bit. And on the left as well. Left one screw over here. Let's see now. Let's try to remove this cover. And just wiggle it wiggle it out so yeah the top part of the trim is out this is the display screen cable disconnect that and disconnect this um, to remove the motherboard you need to remo remove this metal bits um, to do that just uh, remove all the cables from the railing first um, and this so leave it aside and then there is three screws over here one two and three you know those all right so lift this metal part and that's off then you can detach the screen now so that's screen off all right so remove the motherboard um, let's find out the screws that is holding this motherboard so I can see one over here one down there and there is three which is holding this part so let's remove all the screws Now lift the motherboard, but there is one cable connected from this uh, power port. Just lift it and rotate it and disconnect this cable. That's it, the motherboard is off. Now we will remove the heatsink uh, and fan unit and change the um, thermal paste of the CPU. So disconnect, disconnect this fan and then remove the screws over here.
Alright, so that's off. Um, uh, make sure this falls off from there. To replace the thermal paste, um, um, watch my other videos. Um, I have lots of videos which shows how to replace the thermal paste and how to apply the new thermal paste. So, yeah, look at other videos and then let me know if um, how you feel about it in the comment section. Old thermal compo compound is uh, not that sticky. You just wipe it out using a tissue. Um, uh, make sure it's clear and shiny. That's clean. Uh, on the heat sink as well, just wipe the old um, thermal paste out. Simple as that. To apply the new thermal paste, um, I use this thermal paste a lot. Um, just apply a little bit on it, on the center. And on the pill, another CPU. So this much is fine. And then apply the screw back, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna put that back because it fell off. And then place it on the top. Screw on. I forgot to tell you about uh, this is the Intel Core i4 i5 um, CPU and this one is the GPU. So, yeah, you turn this back on, uh, connect the fan back, uh, make sure you clean the fan, use a brush or use a compressed air. Alright, so our CPU, our motherboard is ready to assemble. So that is how you disassemble this laptop. Um, to assemble it back, it's completely in reverse order. Um, I'm gonna assemble it in fast forward. If you want to have a look, just pause it and have a look. So first of, so first of first thing, connect the power cable. That is the last thing we disconnected from this motherboard. So yes, connect the power cable. Make sure it's aligned. Um, yeah, if you want to change your power uh, port, just remove that screw and that's it, it's off. Alright, so now make sure the power port is there. Put it on this angle and then keep it down. So that's motherboard. Um, that's it guys, just follow in the reverse order now.
Alright guys, uh, as you remembered, there was one long screw and one short screw. I'm going to put the long screw first, which is over here. And the short screw over here. Um, there was two screw over here and the I want to put those back first all right so all other screws are of the same size so it doesn't matter which way you want it <coughs> I'm gonna start from the left Alright guys, that's it. Uh, this is uh, this concludes the video for disassembling Lenovo ThinkPad X201. Uh, hopefully, the video has helped you in, in many ways, like uh, replacing hard drive with SSD, upgrading the uh, RAM, uh, cleaning fans, replacing the thermal paste of the um, uh, CPU, and replacing um, Wi-Fi cards. And many other bits and pieces of the laptop um, hopefully you like the video um, if you have any questions please let us know let me know on the comment section if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and if you have enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe below to keep up with more upcoming videos hit the bell icon have a good time. Until next video, see you then. Bye-bye.